How's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here, and in today's software tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can very easily create a comment feature for your software application. Previously on my channel, I have made a video on how to make a comment feature with a um, form block and also a timeline block, where the users can click on the cafe and go into a cafe details page, and they can then submit their comments and ratings with this form submission. And once submitted, their comments will appear on this timeline block. It is still a very great approach if you want the users to submit many other fields along with the comment, such as ratings in my example, but it takes a bit of time to get right since it is a bit um, of a hacky way to do it. And there is a lot of linked records involved, which confused a lot of people. So if you only care about users comment, Softer's new comment block is way faster and way, efficient, way more efficient approach to do it. Now let me show you how you can implement this very, very quickly with just one single block. In your list details page, let's hide the form and timeline blocks, which we used previously. Make sure that you still have a list details block. Uh, this is very important, otherwise it will not work. And we add our comment block to our page. This one single block will handle both submitting comment and displaying comment, which is amazing. Now let's go to our Airtable side and make a new comment table. The fields that we need are, first of all, a comment field, which hosts the content of the comment. A cafe record ID field, which is to help us know that which cafe this particular comment is made under. A commenter ID field, which is which is to track which user actually submitted this particular comment so that software can display the right user information when displaying the comments. And lastly, we will have a create a date field to help us display the comments in a chronological order. Note that I have made this cafe ID a linked record to our cafe table. This is so that instead of showing a record ID, which are just like a string of letter or numbers, which don't really tell me much, it will actually display the cafe's name here so that I could quickly tell which cafe it is uh, without even having to check uh, which ID, which cafe this particular ID actually means. But again, this step is completely optional. So if you come from the previous comment video that I made before, you will see that this table does not look too different from the one we made before, but we do not have to do any linked records if you don't want to, to make this thing work, which is usually what confuse people. So software has handled the most confusing part and the most manual part uh, of the job for us. With just these four fields set up, we can now link them up to our comment block on the software side, where comment ID goes in comment ID, cafe record ID goes into current record, comment goes into comment field and created date goes into created date. And if we publish it, go to our app as a logged in user. Let's click on the cafe to see the cafe details. And then we see that our comment block is there. Let's try to submit our first comment here. And here we go. Our comment is there. And if we check the Airtable site, you can see that our comment there and also our optional linked record works as uh, expected too. And there you have it. This is how you can very easily create a comment feature for your software application with just one single block and a very simple Airtable setup. Let me know in the comment below if you still have any more questions about it, but software has done a fantastic job to make it as easy as possible. If this video helped, please like and share this video, subscribe to my channel um, for more and also follow me on Twitter to engage with me or ask me anything. I do read my DMs or um, tweets there. Until next time, ciao.